I'm really looking forward. <laughs> Hello everybody. Hello again. This is Victoria Baklikova and what's my name? Sergey Baklikov. Yes, my name is Sergey Baklikov. Now we are in the city of St. Petersburg. Uh, let me remind you, if you haven't watched the previous video, that um, a month ago I have moved here from the city of Ufa, my hometown. And uh, three weeks ago, at the 21st of May, I have purchased an apartment, a brand new apartment here in the historical city center of St. Petersburg, but in a brand new neighborhood, just in um, two minutes by walk from Nevsky Prospect, the main street of the northern capital of Russia, the most beautiful city uh, of my country. Uh, let me also remind you that it is became possible, thankful to my very successful investments into Cashbury, the company which has became the best investment company in Russia. Now it is number one. So um, if you remember from the previous video, uh, I was showing you the apartment. It was uh, just uh, absolutely uh, uh, nude, if I can say, uh, apartments. I mean, with no any renovations, with without finishing. It was just uh, uh, gray uh, concrete cement box. There was nothing at all. But two weeks ago, I have hired the whole brigades of five highly professional workers. Yes, my investments into Cashbury uh, lets me not only you know to buy this apartment, but hire a whole brigade in amount of five workers so five guys uh, already for two weeks working hard on uh, making the renovation uh, to finish apartments as soon as it's possible and they are doing really great so uh, you asked me to show how it goes and now let's see uh, the progress two weeks later let's go do you love this neighborhood? Yes. So now let's get inside and see what is here. Well, first off, let me tell you that what the guys did is leveled the walls, plastered them. They are completely flat and white. The next thing is the electricity. It was completely rebuilt the way I need it. For example, uh, here will be the uh, desktop, Victoria's desktop. So that's why downstairs she have a lot of power outlets, which will be invisible behind the table. And that's uh, the rosettes for, let's say, uh, the charger, which will be uh, above the table, so in a comfortable place. Uh, this is for the lamps that will be right above the uh, Victoria's bed. Uh, that's for the uh, TV box for outlets. Uh, this is the uh, power. This is cable TV and internet. So the TV box will be mounted here and will stay here. So, this is the kitchen. Also, we can see that everything is uh, flat. Everything is leveled, sanitary pipes. And this is everything according to the construction of the kitchen furniture that we will have. Uh, next thing about the floors. The floors are leveled too. So they are completely, completely flat and they are ready for laminate, um, for the laminate to be installed here. This is, uh, you know, 
restroom, toilet. Also, we can see that the guys works on the sanitary pipes. Also, the way we need it. You know, filters. That's the bathroom. Now here goes the process of setting up the tiles. And uh, this is uh, my bedroom. Here will be uh, uh, the bed. So that's why here we have outlets, which will be from the right and from the left side from the bed. So this is for a charger. And this is for uh, lamps, which will be above the bed and uh, in front of the bed by the center. Also the outlets for TV box, internet, cable TV, uh, power for TV box, power for uh, the sound panel. Here is for subwoofer. Here will be my desktop my working place so also I have uh, I will have a lot of outlets here so not a lot of work left here they need roughly seven eight days to finish it all you know to make a lemonade to finish the uh, toilets bathroom uh, place the lemonades, uh, make the walls for a painting and to paint the walls. I'm really looking forward. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to settle down here because uh, you know all these renovations. It's uh, it's crazy. Actually, it takes a lot of your time, even if you have a brigade because however you have to control it you have to coordinate you have to buy the stuff you have to control the delivery and all the things and uh, uh, not a lot of time now I have for making the videos and finally finally I really really hope that I will be able to get back to regular producing of the episodes of just the regular episodes of real Russia when I will settle down here and uh, will get rid of all this routine. So stay tuned and keep watching.